on daybreak. Most people avoid moving this time of year because, well, the winter weather can just make things unpredictable and hard. But some people must move. News 8's Amisha Ramsey spoke with an expert to make sure everything goes smoothly. Sounds like preparation is what's key here. That's right, Hannah. A lot of preparation. I know a lot of people really don't like moving, but the show must still go forward. Now, to avoid some of the cold weather and dealing with those slick roads, experts tell me that there are some other things to consider when moving in the winter. Now, Atlas Van Lines, a moving agency headquartered in Evansville, found that the peak moving season is from April to September, and it's estimated that 80 percent of Americans will move during that time. However, they suggest there are some benefits to moving in the winter, like taking advantage of the down season. And since less people are moving, there are some off-season discounts and specials running to make the move cheaper. Opposed to the summer, there's more flexibility on moving dates because the market is less saturated. So, you know, you, you are not competing against as many people. It's like if you wanted to book a, um, a trip down to Florida on spring break, you, you know what you're getting into, right? You're going to have to stand in long lines. You may have to pay more. You may not get the level of service. It's the same type of thing, though. We strive to make every accommodation possible. Mary Beth Johnson also says for homeowners, more time is devoted to those who are house hunting since there, are, since there are fewer homes on the market and fewer buyers reduce the chances of bidding wars. And for renters, she says landlords want to fill those vacant apartments during the winter and may offer deals. Now, if you find these relocating tips helpful, I'll have more suggestions on how to prep for your winter transition, like prepping your vehicle for a winter commute. I'm live in the newsroom, Nisha Ramsey, WishTV, WishTV.com, and follow us on Facebook.